Hello again, Jay Stevens here. As a passionate fan of all types of horror cinema, I hope to explore something new and different with each issue of Dwellings. I won't hurt you. Come on. I particularly enjoy psychological thrillers, especially with a hint of the supernatural, like the superb Jack Clayton film The Innocence from 1961, based on Henry James' The Turn of the Screw. As you see, he's dead. Clint is dead. <laughs> Vanished person thrillers are a favorite subgenre, with legendary examples like Hitchcock's The Lady Vanishes. Hammer film Scream of Fear and the highly recommended Bunny Lake is Missing by Otto Preminger. Bunny was the name of a character in a child's storybook. She was a lovely character, so I named my playmate after the girl in the book. Then later, when my daughter was born, I called her Bunny as a nickname. Isn't that what you're really questioning me about? Quiet Suki, the self contained story from Dwellings Number、no. 3, is in part inspired by these thrillers. When her grandmother mysteriously vanishes from a long term care home and the staff denies she ever existed, Charlie Willett's only clue to discovering the truth is in her grandmother's toy hand pump at Suki. But when Suki starts talking, leading Charlie deeper into the nearby woods, she begins to wish she'd never put her hand inside. If you're a fan of psychological horror like I am, you can check out more about Dwellings Number、no. 3 through the links below. Get yours before it vanishes.